ill, rich nap. Um, I want to start out saying I'm no pro. I'm not, you know, I just fly aerobatics and stuff like that. I'm no pro, I'm just getting into it, but um, I'm kind of known for my rebuilds, uh, hitting all blue lights, and, uh, you know, my first try, uh, being quick, easy, being, a, I could rebuild my helicopter at the field if I had all my parts along, um, and be up and flying within, you know, within two hours, um, if not less. Now, what I want to do is, uh, this here is my, this is the, the blade little block. There's been a lot of talk, you know, I hear, you know, people here and there talking about it. Um, this is, the, the, this is my favorite tool, and I'll explain why. Okay, running aluminum blade grips, you don't have the countersink for the nut for tightening up the blade grips. This little hole on the end, that's what it's for, and it works perfect. All right, you have the side rules. Rebuild the spot, uh, ball link arm, works perfect. All right, now, here's the one that I hear, you know, I've heard, I've heard people, or seen, read people's posts about. They don't understand this side. The one side is flat, the one side has two little holes and a countersink. What that's for is for the swash plate. All right, a lot of guys, let me switch hands here. Okay. When they're doing their uh, rebuild, they'll take the, the little block and they'll push it all the way up in. That's wrong. You're going to be way off. All right. What them are for is now I have a swash plate, an extra swash plate here. Okay. And when you look at the bottom of your swash plate, you have three screws on there and, you know, the metal uh, buildings for the bearing and stuff. All right. When you push this all the way in, your center screw is sitting in the groove. Your two back screws end up sitting on top. All right, so that does not give you a level swash plate. I'm trying to see if I can get it on here. Now watch what happens when I slide it forward. Let me get level. The screws will drop into the hole. Oh, it turned on me. All right. The screws all of a sudden drop in those holes. Look at the difference. That's where that's sitting proper on the tool. All right. If you're not in that groove, look at the angle you're at. So make sure if you use this tool which works great that your two screws are sitting down in those countersunk holes um, and then you set up your swash plate for level and uh, so, you know that, that's the way I've been doing it since day one and uh, even my very first rebuild I nailed my uh, uh, the, the swash plate nice and center um, and then for your uh, your pitch and stuff like that. What I do? Okay, I got. To, I'll put these down through the blade grips. You know, like uh, what they talk about doing. Now uh, these are the uh, uh, dynamite. I got through Horizon Hobby. They're the dynamite. This is the two and a half millimeter. This is the one point five. The shank fits perfectly through the blade grip through that hole for the uh, for the blade grip and uh, what I'll do is I'll run my you know helicopter sideways and then I'll line this up with the, this whole shaft I don't go just by the tip make sure that the tips are even because that, that's all going to vary on where your head position is what I do is I line it up so that at a 90 degree angle to the boom I'll have this, the you know the two uh, tools will be sideways like this and I'll sit and I'll line the shaft up with the shaft with the main shaft on a helicopter then I'll rotate and I'll do the other side and uh, once I get it where it looks like they're both even with the shaft then I'll look and see if my tips are my ends here are even 
um, but I'll rotate and I'll, you know, I'll keep rotating it and just double checking I mean it only takes what not even 10 seconds to rotate it and check it so don't rush it just you'll know, keep rotating it so everything kind of sets in um, you know and uh, you know because you're gonna have a little variance you know from your first setting it and then if you just set it and it's like okay that's good once you rotate it I noticed myself that you will get a small variance um, but be very detailed it's gonna save you a lot of money in parts because you get your helicopter up you know you're gonna be good um, but yeah just go through it rotate it and once you get like say mate rotate it like three times and that one still looks level then go to the other side line it up with the shaft rotate you know like rotate it once check it out rotate it again check it out rotate it again check it out and uh, then you know check and see if your tops are even um, it's worked very good for me my blade tracking has been dead on every time um, you know I continuously get blue lights for all my settings um, like I said I'm no pro uh, these are just you know little things I've noticed but uh, yeah, I don't use the uh, one that you slide on over top the shaft for centering the squash plate. This bugger right here is, you know, one of the best investments I've made for uh, doing rebuilds. Um, <laughs> little, this little bugger ever breaks, I'm definitely ordering another one because uh, it's more than well worth it. But uh, the biggest thing to remember is, you know, making sure that your two screws down there on the on the back side are into those counter sunk holes you know don't shove it all the way in because you're going to be at you're going to be at an angle um but yeah i just kind of wanted to make a little video about that because you know there's been i've i've seen people posting and asking questions well what are those little holes for and what's that counter sunk for and it seemed like a lot of people didn't know and i never really seen a good answer explaining it um but uh, in all reality, I really think that, you know, it's real important to get that flat. Um, you know, granted, the fly this unit, it'll compensate for a lot of mistakes. But the less mistakes and the less you got to make your fly this unit work, um, you know, the, the better flying you'll have and more enjoyable flying. Um, I hope this helps out. Um, I tried to explain it the best I can. Um, but yeah, I didn't, uh, but that works very good. I love this little tool. Like I said, with this, ooh, okay, one negative thing I can say about it. I just ended up getting some, oh no, that's from the swash plate. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I smeared the ink. Um, but, uh, yeah, with the, uh, that's what the gauge is for on the side, is for, you know measuring ball links and uh, you know building new ones up and that's what the hole is for is uh, for like aluminum blade grips for your uh, for your nut for your blade grips um, very versatile tool works good um, but yeah that's that's what those holes are for on there that's what the countersink is for on there is to make sure your squash plate sits level um, do not push it all the way up in big mistake it's only there just for clearance you know that way you're sitting flat and you're not hitting that arm and it's holding it up because if your anti-roll is at an angle and you push this in and bump it up to the anti-roll it's going to sit at an angle it's not going to sit flat so okay well thank you much and i hope it helps out like i said i'm no pro just little tips and tricks that i've been learning um and I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. I, you know, I, yeah, I get my rebuilds done, you know, and they're right nailed on and everything. But I'm still, at this point, I'm still learning little tricks during my rebuilds as far as for making them easier. Um, okay, happy flying, and I hope that helped out.